Hey there folks, John here from Watch Talk Forums and I am coming to you with another video watch review, uh, this time of the LumTech M51. Now this is a video supplement to my written photo review that's located on Watch Talk Forums. I'm going to put a link in the description box of this video, but uh, this is just meant to uh, supplement the overall written photo review that will have a lot more details uh, and photos of this particular watch. Uh, the video supplement is just meant to get some, uh, some video footage uh, of the watch to augment uh, the written photo review. Uh, with that said, let me talk a little bit about the M51 here. Uh, really like this watch. I'm surprised at how much I like it. Now, for for those of you who are members of the Watch Talk Forms community, you've probably seen uh, my uh, kind of factory tour piece that I did when I visited Loom Tech recently in Mentor, Ohio. And that's when I picked up this watch. I actually uh, spotted it in uh, uh, the display case. They have a huge... Uh, area in their entrance with display cases set up with all their products. Nice thing if, uh, for them to uh, kind of show potential dealers uh, who visit them. And uh, uh, I spotted the M51. Uh, it should be noted that normally the M51 comes with uh, quite a bit different configuration. This, this is not uh, a stock Lumtech strap on it. This is a strap from Crown and Buckle. Uh, which is a watch talk form strap uh, supplier strap vendor and uh, uh, one of our one of our sponsors and uh, the second hand on this watch is red that is not typical of a uh, an m51 uh, those of you who have done business with LoomTech before know that they uh, are perfectly willing to customize watches when you order from them, and that's what was done with this watch. Uh, a red second hand was added, and they actually gave me uh, uh, a black strap that has uh, red stitching on it uh, that I show some pictures of in the written photo review. So this isn't exactly uh, a stock M51, but it kind of gives you some ideas. If you're interested in getting one with a red second hand, all you have to do is uh, let them know when you place your order. They'll be glad to put a red one or a blue one or a yellow one or about any color you can think of. They're, they're really good that way. Um, just a couple things I want to point out. This is a 44 millimeter watch and really surprised how well you know how nicely it looks on my wrist. Typically, I don't wear a watch this large. I, I normally don't go much beyond 40 millimeters uh, in my watches. But LumTech watches, with the way they're designed, uh, they're very thin. Um, and the way did they design the uh, uh, you know the lugs uh, in proportion with uh, the crown guards and things. These these don't look that big on your wrist. Uh, I really do like how it looks. Notice too that uh, uh, the double anti-reflective coating, notice you're not getting any color contamination on that crystal when I showed at different angles. Uh, I was really surprised about this. At first I thought they weren't using a double uh, AR coating on that crystal. And by double AR coating I mean coating both the underside of the crystal and the top side of the crystal with an anti-reflective coating. Uh, and in fact they, they have. There, there is a double uh, AR coating on this sapphire crystal. Uh, I, I emailed Chris about this because I was just amazed at how different this dial looks. Uh, compared to some of the other LumTech dials that I've seen that have been double AR coated, and he said that they hit, on this watch they did use a different kind of AR coating, and uh, uh, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I still think that double AR coating is not necessarily a great idea because uh, a sapphire crystal is used for its scratch resistance because it's very hard to scratch a sapphire crystal. And if you throw an a anti-reflective coating on the top of that crystal, now you've introduced uh, an element that can be scratched. And over time, you will see streaks on that crystal. So you'll either have to go ahead and, and have the crystal recoated or have the coating scraped off altogether. So still not a, not a fan, but as double AR coatings go, this is, this is the nice, was, nicest uh, coating that I've seen from any watch manufacturer in terms of not uh, having any color contamination of the dial caused by, by the coating. Um, 
I found that uh, it, it does show uh, fingerprints and dirt uh, very easily uh, if you had, if you had glance up against this or touch it at all you're going to see it because of the AR coating on the top but uh, keep the crystal clean and uh, you won't uh, you won't notice that AR coating uh, on the top side so that really impressed me that's an improvement over some of the uh, LumTech watches that I've seen in the past really appreciate that you'll notice too that the case is uh, PVD coated or has been process, processed using a PVD treatment and they actually use a titanium carbide that they apply with a PVD process giving this watch really impressive scratch resistance. Uh, you'll see that everywhere on the case except the sapphire case back that displays uh, the movement here uh, has the PVD coating and I've been very impressed with how uh, scratch resistant the watch is. And you'll see this uh, this strap that I have also has a, a, a PVD coated buckle. Um, as you'll see in the pictures in my photo review, uh, the buckles that come on both the rubber strap that's stock for this watch and the uh, uh, the leather strap do have a, a PVD uh, buckle as well, so it matches up real nice. Also, this uh, this watch is using the um, the Myota. 9015 movement. It's a self-winding movement and I uh, really like it. It's been very accurate. I threw the watch on uh, my timing machine that can test the accuracy of a watch and uh, of course LumTech regulates all their watches prior to leaving the factory um, and uh, it was extremely accurate. It, uh, it was kind of floating between uh, maybe plus one to plus three seconds a day so extremely extremely accurate uh, you know that's that's uh, well within uh, uh, cost chronometer uh, performance parameters so if they had gone to the trouble and expense of, of sending this watch to uh, to cost uh, I believe it would have very easily earned a cost chronometer certificate based on how well they've they've got it regulated so very impressive again it's a very attractive watch I'm really surprised how much I like it love this red second hand that they placed on it uh, with uh, the uh, the white uh, white markers uh, white hands uh, and of course the red second hand against that black background incredible contrast uh, there's a uh, of course, it's got the LumTech's proprietary MVD uh, coating on there, or excuse me, MDV maximum darkness visibility. For uh, it's their their proprietary luminescent coating. Uh, and this thing glows like a torch in the dark. Uh, got a nice uh, nice glow shot, uh, loom shot of the the dial on the photo review. So there you have it. That's just some quick thoughts and impressions. Uh, love the watch. Uh, if you're a fan uh, of watches, do check this out. Uh, it comes, the M51 also comes available with a phantom glass option, uh, which is kind of neat. Some people will like that. You can see that on the LumTech website. Uh, I'll throw a link up here uh, that you, so you can see the URL to, to go to LumTech's website and, and see a selection of all their watches. Uh, but this is really a fantastic watch, and if you've not dealt with uh, the people at LumTech, you really owe it to yourself to give them a call and to interact with them because they're watch fans. They're very passionate. They're they're awesome at what they do. Uh, incredible company to work for. Uh, they've got an incredible, incredible fan base located on Watch Talk forums and the the official LumTech discussion forum for uh, discussing all things LumTech related and I would encourage you to uh, visit the site uh, in the LumTech forum. Well that's all for this video. Uh, until next time, take care, God bless, we'll see you in the next video.